Hello, and welcome to another Armanis video. Today, I'm going to be showing off my ballista design and showing you how to work it for publication on the workshop because it is a bit complicated and the setup process does take a small amount of time. But once it is set up, it is easily reloadable, easily refireable, and if multiplayer, dub when multiplayer, not if, but when multiplayer comes around, a two man team could really let loose some of my ballista bolts. Now, it is not as powerful as a catapult, but the devs apparently have stated, or so I've been told, that cannonballs right now are purposely overtuned so that people can mess around with the physics and they can mess around with the siege engines and have fun doing it and see the destruction and see the debris. And let's face it, playing around with a 10 times mass cannonball and watching a two thick, uh, a, a two layer thick, brick wall coming down, ugh, just, ugh, it, it's, it's amazing, the debris and all that. But anyway, let's get to the actual operation of the machine. Now, first thing you want to do, you notice it, it's not fully intact. First thing you want to do is grab a firing block, or make a firing block. It's simply a two tall by three wide by three long block with two round arms two lengths long coming out of each end with a rope catch at each end and a rope catch in the top middle of the back now there are two variations here um, in some worlds the arm in the middle works better in some worlds the arm in the front works better so you have those options for what you want to try you get it close to the middle let it orient to the ramp which is at a slant hit J Turn it into place, drop it in. And once that's done, just two 10 block long full lengths round right there, and that finishes that off. What I like to do when I set it in, when I set mine in, is hop in the basket, give it a give it a little bit of, a couple of nudges back, make sure it's seated. Now, a couple other things to set up. I like to either lash mine down to the ground, or what else you can do is just chalk the wheels with a rope catch front and back. I usually tie it down, but this time we're going to go with rope catches. Now, to keep this in place and reduce the amount of friction and variables as much as possible, it has two lashes in the front because obviously it's at an angle to give it better lift and more range, and it has it is on a catch block axle in the back to do that. Now, the next step once you have that small amount set up is you go ahead and you attach these blocks to the top middle end of your firing arms and if all goes well and sometimes things do go glitchy, you never ever have to detach these. These will be constant. I personally like to use third person mode to pull the arms back. You can get a better view and you don't have the head bob. You can go ahead and pull these back. Looks like it's up against the arms. It's kind of pulling out a little bit. Now at this point, you can go ahead and set up your firing rope. This is the only rope you should have to attach and detach once you have the machine set up. On the bottom, you have these other rope catch. You attach these, this to your firing block. You run over to the other side. You attach this to your firing block. And you should be good to go. Now, I have two missiles. Basic idea of the missiles is weights with two length long round logs between them. Um, we're still experimenting with this. If anybody plays around with my ballista and finds a better design or a longer design or something that does more damage or has more range, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message. I would love to hear it. We'll update it and I will definitely give you credit on that. Now let's just start with the small three weight test ballista missile that I have. And once you have it oriented to the deck, same as the firing block, you hit J and just go ahead and drop it in the middle. And you should be good to go. All you need to do now is you come here and you loosen up your arm tensioner and you let it fly. And that's it. 
from here all you need to do is pull it back again and this is and there is one last bit of setup I'll show you real quick and you do need to be a little gentle uh, I don't know if you saw right there near the end it kind of pulled the tertian arm to the side now this actually here should be removed um, so that it can pull back as far as this rope um, but that yet again that's still kind of an experimental thing once you have that all set up and pulled back put that on that catch and you can just slide this back easy um, once you see that or it's at its full tension you loosen this up and it is ready to fire again and then all you do is of course you just grab it set it in the middle it's already on J and was already selected so all we need to do is drop that in Oh, set up the firing line sometimes I forget to do that because it's um, I, I get it out of my head that you don't need to set that up anymore third person mode loosen your tension arm and let it fly um, and that is the entire design of the ballista and that should be all you need to know to use it off of the workshop set it up and let it go um, if you would like to keep watching I'm gonna load up a large one and we're gonna take out a we're gonna take out a wall right now is what we're going to do first what I need to do is get rid of this and I will be fixing it for the workshop so that this is not here because that was actually in the way I, I'm still fiddling with the design a little bit here and there so nothing's perfect let's go ahead and add a thin wall it does put a dent in the large stone walls but it's not really apparently built for that sort of sieging it is not a long as long a range of weapon as a catapult and it doesn't do quite as much damage but it's a ballista for crying out loud and the game you know it's still working out kinks on things like that and those sorts of things and sometimes it does bounce back a little bit like that but you know gently a little at a time and they're even and they're good let's go ahead and we can set up our firing arm it doesn't matter the order you do these things in sometimes the arms get a little jittery that is okay that happens there is still physics problems with the game it will still fire fine it will fire absolutely fine let's go over here let's grab what I like to call the bad Larry also known as the 223 two blocks in the front two blocks in the middle three blocks in the back and come on orient to the okay there it is it is oriented to the deck sometimes this can be a little tricky getting used to dropping it trying to get it to the middle that's that's been a bit of a learning curve and we're all loaded up third person view mode because the arms are a little jittery I try to be careful kinda kinda gentle with it when I'm releasing the arms I'm not 100% sure why they jitter but they do stop and they do go and it doesn't mess with the firing mechanism let it fly. That that one went a little, a little cockeyed. Went a little flight. Might not seem like a lot of damage, but but you hit that debris, and you find you have a nice man-sized hole. This is about normal. It does about a two by two block of damage with that missile, which is good enough to get a man through to start pouring your army. Let's see. Is there any more debris here? I do, I do believe if physics stay the way they are, when multiplayer comes out, you're going to need somebody on your team just to clear rubble out, because rubble has no health, and it will actually act as a shield. I was actually playing around with an idea of building a middle wall on my castle, filled with debris, because it doesn't do anything. Anyway, this is the ballista design. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I hope you play around with it, test it, have fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to message me here, leave a comment, um, and I will do my best to answer it. And anyway, happy firing. Go get them.